How are Prince Harry and Meghan Markle changing royal parenthood? For many years, the public's image of the royal family was that they were a rather outdated institution, following rules and protocols that were established hundreds of years ago. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are working hard to change the public perception by leaps and bounds, most notably in the very modern way that they plan to parent their baby. They might not have a nanny. Every royal baby thus far has had a nanny. The nanny, trained at a prestigious school, is responsible for everything from day-to-day -day chores like changing and dressing the baby to royal security and transportation. Even Princess Diana had a nanny for her boys although reportedly she still preferred to do the majority of the care for her children herself. Prince William and Kate Middleton have a nanny for their three young children, and although she is rarely photographed, is said to always be on hand when the royal parents need her services. According to recent reports, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry might forego a nanny for their baby entirely, although it seems inescapable to some degree. Since baby Sussex will need to be cared for by someone when Meghan Markle and Prince Harry return to their royal duties, they might turn to a family member for help, rather a hired assistant. Some reports suggest that Markle has asked her mother, Doria Ragland, to assist in caring for the baby. The royal couple's new home, Frogmore Cottage, has a room set aside just for Ragland, which suggests that even if Ragland won't be a nanny in an official sense, she will still play a major role in the baby's life. Prince Harry will be a hands-on father. Traditionally, royal fathers have not gotten involved in the day-to-day -day tasks of caring for a baby. While they undoubtedly love their children, changing diapers and getting up to assist with midnight feedings has been something reserved for a nanny. Up until now, at least. Reportedly, Prince Harry is planning on being just as involved as Meghan Markle and will likely take significant time off from his royal duties after the baby is born, to focus on his new family. Prince William, too, has been working hard to change the stigma of royal fathers and took parental leave after the birth of each of his children. He also isn't afraid to get down on the children's level and talk to them in public, something that seems quite natural, but had been frowned upon in the past. Meghan Markle wants to keep things natural. Prior to her marriage to Prince Harry, Meghan Markle was a well-known actress, with a passion for healthy living and exercise. Markle likes to practice what she preaches and reportedly has changed Prince Harry's diet for the better, filling their fridge with staples like green juice and almonds. It seems likely that her devotion to a healthy lifestyle will carry over to her parenting style. While reports that she plans to raise baby Sussex as vegan are unconfirmed, it's very certain that she will keep healthy foods in the house and probably limit the number of cakes and biscuits on hand. Of course, the most obvious example that Meghan Markle and Prince Harry plan to do things their own way is how they've deliberately removed themselves from the palace. They have chosen to set up camp at Frogmore House, a small, private residence in the countryside. It seems like in addition to raising baby Sussex to be a conscious, active member of society, the royal parents also plan to ensure that their baby is able to enjoy childhood as relative privacy, a marked change from the way Prince Harry was raised.